is the T-Mobile network good enough to justify a price increase? Yes or no, Max? Well, in my opinion, a price increase is never justified for anything. Okay, Frank, yes or no? Is the T-Mobile network good enough to justify this price increase? No, sir. Brandon? Uh, depends on where you work and play. Moose. What was the, the thing? Is the T-Mobile network good enough to justify this price increase? Oof. <laughs> the majority of the United States, no. In certain urban areas that have lower T-Mobile market share, yes. Because they have, you know, significant amounts of spectrum, um, but in uh, middle markets, like middle-sized big markets, like Albuquerque and El Paso, um, you know, those places, they're gonna see the pinch, and they've already seen the pinch, right? I mean, a lot of people are leaving already, but um, but no, overall, no, it's not justified. Yes or no? Has the ver uh, has the T-Mobile network improved enough? Is it good enough to warrant the price increases? No, I mean they're charging Verizon AT and T prices, and I, I'm not really concerned about what one customer says. Um, the data says that they are not um, anywhere near where they need to be from a network standpoint to be charging the same, or in some cases more than what AT and T and Verizon are paying, or what they are what they're charging. Excuse me. Um, it just doesn't make much sense to me. So, um, you know, it is what it is. You know, the, the market will decide for themselves. But the data seems to suggest you get a much better network experience with the others who carries than you do with T-Mobile. So it doesn't make much sense to be paying very, very close to, if not maybe a few dollars more than what you would at the other two carriers staying with T-Mobile. They don't give you nearly the value that they used to. They're not giving away the house anymore. You know, they're charging you five bucks to pay your bill in store. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be as advantageous to me.